Hello to all my friends out there. Hello to everyone. Well, one of the comments was, why do you buy all that food for half price that you don't need? Wheat crackers, 124, Walmart. Okay, first of all, I don't buy food that I don't eat, I don't need. This is what I like to do. It's the middle of the night. I'm having soup instead of cereal. This is good. Not by doing the wee hours of the night. With all that food I bought that I don't need. Okay, see this dented can? I bought this for 50 cents. Yes. And that's what I do. I, I eat it with crackers. Also, I could, but I'm not doing it right now, eat this fruit cocktail with some um, cottage cheese. That would be good. Here's another can of that food I don't need. Okay, and back here I have, remember those chips that I opened from the bottom? Yes, I still have some left. And there is my dip that I was eating in the back of my car. And I will have you guys know that my car is pretty comfortable. Okay, I learned something. This is really good black tea that I made. And I was searching out how to improve my black tea. And they, uh, they mentioned use filtered water. So I have filtered up water in my refrigerator. This is a mess. So this soup would um, cost me about 25 cents because, you know, I got the whole can for 50 cents. I bought this soup a long time ago. And tonight, this is what I like to eat. Okay, no. If someone comes to you and says, do you have any food? And they don't have any food. And you have some of these dented cans. Believe me, they will gratefully receive it. Sometimes I give them to the homeless. I bought this tea. 100 bags for um, $1. A penny a bag. So the tea was two cents. Because I used two tea bags. Okay, now one more point. Uh, here in San Diego, we had a visiting priest, and his ministry was, he was from Ireland. His ministry was in um, South America. And, and when he went to South America the first time, he was a young priest, and he was ministering to orphans that lived under a bridge and was literally starving. So he went back to um, Ireland with no intention of, of ministering back in South America. And, and he was compelled to go back there. And so one day he went to, you know, to where these orphans were and he gave them a last dollar, his last dollar. And he didn't have any money or food himself. And there was a knock at the door and it was one of the orphans he had ministered to years and years ago and he had brought him some money so it is a lot easier you guys to give out of your abundance than to give your last dollar away okay we have lots of storms stretching to come across the u.s and god knows um if you have extra prayers pray for the the uh truckers it's very very dangerous Okay, so there you go, you guys. That's what I do with all that food that I don't need. Please like, comment, and God, God bless you all. Be very, very careful.